I think engineers, a lot of time, they have to put themselves in other people's shoes to actually build things. I was able to go to West Africa. I spent nine weeks in Benin, um, and I had a chance to um, learn about the culture, learn about the people, um, visit some health clinics and health centers, um, and spend time at the Songhai Center, which is a organization that Jamie has a relationship with. Well, I come from a developing country, so I've seen a lot, I've heard a lot, it's all over the news, so I always wanted to help people, and especially because I've been there. Maybe not there, there, but it's just part of my culture. So being able to help a developing country, that's just, it's what I want to do. You have to look at it from their point of view, even without like being there, so it's, I think it's the most exciting thing is actually looking at something from somebody else's point of view. In my experience there, I saw the needs and I saw um, the current conditions that they have, the lack of infrastructure, the lack of organization. Um, and I think basically what our project is, is meeting their needs uh, to create a design that is holistic. It's a, a health clinic that'll, that'll provide these people with essentially free health care that can't afford it. And it's not just a place where people go to get medical needs addressed. It's also a place where they go to get education so they can address their own medical needs. And it's also a community space. So people come to this place um, as, a, as a sort of source of unity for the community. And the health clinic will be self-sustained, if you will. It'll, it'll be running off of its own um, power, it'll be supplying its own water. We're focusing on the rainwater collection system, so this year we're hoping to have um, a scale model of the rainwater collection system that can tell us exactly how much water we can store um, at our health clinic. For a medical facility that's sustainable, um, whether it be the environmental, the social, the technical, or the economic aspects to it, so considering all those, those pillars of sustainability that we have, um, so we hope that it's an adaptable model that can be implemented throughout Sub-Saharan Africa. We do have a lot of different personalities, different backgrounds, different interests, and just seeing how that all works together and how we all have different views um, and being able to still come up with a single outcome, a single goal, a single project, um, it's, been, it's been a challenge, but it's definitely been something that I'm going to take away from this project. My hope for the entire project, um, hopefully in a couple years from now, is that it will actually be implemented um, in Africa because I really do think it has um, the power to impact Africa in such an awesome way. Because you know, in Africa, there's I mean, people struggle every day with um, something that I definitely feel like we take for granted here: um, health care and health education. So I hope that our model will be one that is usable and one that can actually be implemented to actually change lives, to actually make an impact on other people's lives. And then that just makes it so much more real, I feel like. You can actually see a customer and you can see lives changing. Mm -hmm.